and I'm shook because this is the second perfume with rose in it. Mind you, I don't like rose because roses really smell like ooh, 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 and I'm not a fan. Maybe they Hey Gems, it's your girl Miss Jamima and we are back at it again with another video. So today, we are going to be doing a top five, maybe seven, maybe eight, a top five fall favorites of fragrance, five, top, top five fall favorite fragrance, top. We are going to be doing a top five favorites, fa my favorite fragrances for fall five five fall favorite fragrances <sighs> but you can't say that five times fast five five what is going on um as you can see i cannot speak today so good luck on me doing a speeding video um anyways let's just uh hop into it but before we do that well two things first of all is is this giving a vibe like, are you getting 90s vibe from this look? Like, I just... Between the earrings, the lips, the glasses, the shirt, like, I feel like I'm giving heavy 90s vibes, and I am here for it, okay? I told y'all, if you've been watching my vlogs, you know I've been collecting glasses, both personality and uh, sunglasses, and I saw these, and I was like, oh, baby, I have the copies. Okay, I'm making a movement. All right, yes. Okay, that's first thing. Second thing, are you subscribed? I'm not about to drop the tea on how to smell delicious this fall and winter, and you're not even subscribed. But you be watching all my videos. So how that make sense? <laughs> Sis, you be here every other week. Some of y'all be here every week, every day. And you want me to drop the T, but you won't subscribe? <coughs> Does that make sense? <laughs> Does that make sense? Huh? How you gonna know if I drop something spontaneously? Stop playing sis and subscribe, okay? Period. <laughs> now let's get into me. Okay. So I know you guys have been asking for like a perfume collection video, but honestly, I'm like dreading it because one, I'm not great at describing fragrances. And for two, I feel like sometimes I interpret fragrances and just life a little differently than other people. So sometimes we're on the same page and sometimes I'm just like, what, you got that from that? Oh, I have a completely different experience. So that being said, I'm gonna read you the notes that each fragrance comes with um, and how the website describes it. And then I'm gonna let y'all know if I agree or not, or I'm gonna add my two cents on top of it if I feel like it's needed. Okay, so uh, for the most part, I would say that these are affordable. I believe that they're all under 150. Um, and fragrances, can they can go up there, okay? So, but I think everything here, it's between like 25 and like 120-ish, or maybe 140. Oh, let's just say 150 because I'm pretty sure nothing's over 150 um but yeah I also have some dupes I have I just have a nice little mix I think so I'm excited to bring you guys this video I feel like some of these have been mentioned in other videos and I'm just gonna highlight okay because they're that popping and I also have a couple where I feel like you know nobody's really mentioned them so it'll be a nice addition to the other videos that you guys have seen so first things first Oh my god, I'm so nervous. First of all, if I have lips on my teeth, can y'all tell me? Don't let me finish this video with lipstick all over my teeth. Don't be fake. Be a real person. Be a gem. And let me know if I have lipstick on my teeth because I feel like that's going to keep happening. But anyways. Alright, so first things first. We're going to start with my Burberry Black. And I don't... Uh, let me get some paper towels so I can spray perfumes so I can remind myself. But, um, I don't know if this would technically classify as something that you would think of in terms of fall. For me personally, when I think of like fall fragrances, I think of like bolder, 
spicier and also like sweeter in terms in terms of like gourmand and when i say gourmand gourmand means like foodish smelling fragrances like vanilla caramel um oh those are my favorites but also like anything juicy like pear or peach um or anything like that so i really like go in on the gourmand fragrances in the fall for sure um but i also i realized lately i'm really a spicy girl but i like to my spice to be in moderation i don't like to be overly spicy like so it's like do i look like tabasco oh okay i like a moderation in my fragrances anyways um so this fragrance doesn't necessarily fall under either of those but it gives sexy grown night out let me go ahead and spray this uh, baby <laughs> it's me wasting perfume for the video because <laughs> baby <laughs> they not cheap um mm. so technically this doesn't really have any of like the ideas of fall that i have in my mind but i still classify this as a fall fragrance because it just i don't know it it's on the bolder side I would say if it had a cousin, not in terms of fragrance, but in terms of vibe, I would pair it with like the YSL Libre. YSL Libre is kind of like in that family, um, like the Gucci Guilty family, where it's like that sexy fragrance. Um, and I don't know, fall. Something about fall just made me think of sexy. I don't know what it is. I really don't know what it is, but something about fall just makes me think of sexy. And so if I want to be like cute, I'm going to a party, I'm going to, you know, hit the streets, paint the town red, um, I might be wearing this, okay? If she lasts. One night I was going out to a party and I sprayed a couple perfumes because I wasn't sure what, what vibe I wanted to go with. I ended up going with something else. I sprayed this once on my arm. It was there all night. I was like, oh, that one spray? Oh, Burberry, y'all doing something with this one, okay? And on the website, it says it has jasmine flower, candied rose, and amber patchouli. Now I'm realizing I also like a little bit of patchouli in my fragrances. Rose, I don't usually like rose, but I don't know. The way y'all mixing and matching these fragrances these days, I might, I might have to be a fan. Okay, I might have to, all right, hop on board the train. Um, and I usually don't even like flower, y'all. When I tell y'all, <laughs> these concoctions, y'all are doing something, okay? Um, but yeah, so jasmine flower, candied rose, amber patchouli, and mixed together, it just gives a sexy floral. I want to say like a dash of sweetness, and it's just, ooh, it's like date night. I came on one date, but I'm planning on leaving with another. Like, that's the vibe it's giving. I'm telling y'all, okay? This is why I can't do perfume reviews. Because how does that help y'all know what it smell like? But yeah, so like I said, it doesn't smell like YSL, Lieb, or um, Gucci Guilty. But in terms of, like, way where that thing is, like, sexy time, nighttime, sexy dress, out for a date. That's the same family that I would classify this as. Hopefully that helps. Oh, also, it's labeled as a warm floral. Oh, okay, I said that floral yeah one floor warm warm floor i cannot speak today i don't know what's happening warm floral okay so one ounce of this is 76 dollars and this is a eau de parfum okay this is a perfume which means it has a higher percentage of oils in it which means it's gonna last longer compared to eau de toilette all right so yeah one ounce is 76 dollars and the 1.6 ounce is 102. i have the one ounce just because i realized as much as i love perfumes and fragrances i kind of get over them relatively quickly um and then i love perfume i've been collecting fragrances i'm talking about perfumes body sprays or anything i've been collecting since i was like in high school okay um so i have quite a few and so i stopped buying the, the big sizes because i already have so much to go through um so yeah one ounce i find is perfect for me but if you're the type of person who wants to have a signature scent or something like that then i would invest in a bigger size because bigger is more bang for your buck you get more for the money that you spend damn i was rapping about burberry dang this is not sponsored <laughs> okay you got a lot of shine let's move on <laughs> So the next fragrance that I want to highlight is Rose Gourmand from Zara. And this is also an eau de parfum. Okay, eau de parfum. 
Oh, the perfume. Um, and I really, really like this. And I'm shook because this is a second perfume with rose in it. Mind you, I don't like rose because roses really smell like ooh, 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 ooh. And I'm not a fan. Baby, they look good. <laughs> They're real pretty to look at. But the smell, ooh, it's ooh, 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 ooh. But somehow, the chemist, the scientist, the biologist, okay, the psychiatrist, they were all in the lab mixing and matching and somehow they done mixed the right notes to go with Rose to make me fall in love. How y'all do that? What in the sorcery? How y'all do that? I, somebody tell me please because I don't like roses but Rose Gourmand, I'm in love. Oh, let me spray it. Roses really smell like oh, 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 oh. period. Alright, let me give it a whiff. Okay, now with rose gourmand, um, the rose is very heavy in the beginning. I'm not gonna lie, it's not nauseating but it's like she's there she definitely has like main character syndrome like she definitely comes out the bottle like hello i'm here i've arrived um but then her girls will kind of like check her and be like all right so it's like calm calm your ass down sit back a little bit relax take a breather <sighs> okay woosaw and just chill but then like even though she has main character syndrome she loves her girl so she's like oh i'm doing too much all right, let me chill, let me fall back. And then when she falls in line with her girls, that's when like the magic comes together, okay? And I'm just like, wow, this is really the perfect mix because you really smell everything, okay? So according to the website, this is mainly composed of rose, dried amber, and vanilla. So like I said, when you first spray it, that rose, that rose is heavy. Vanilla is right behind her and amber's in the back somewhere. Amber. They already inside the building. Amber's still in the car getting her 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 flat so she could sneak it in her bag because her feet gonna hurt in the middle of the of the, the event. Um But then when Amber finally catches up and Rose simmers down and they meet in that beautiful middle. Oh my god. Baby, baby. When I tell you something magical happens, what in the Harry Potter? What in the charmed? I'm like, what in the Holy Spirit? Okay, listen, the magic <laughs> comes together and creates this beautiful fragrance. And I'm just like, wait a minute. You know what's even more beautiful about this though? The price, okay? Because you get 2.7 ounces of this Eau Parfum um, for $25.90 as Zara. Stop playing with the kid. Stop playing with her because we love what? A budget buy, a bargain buy. Baby, you get this whole bottle for $25.90. Now, I try to put my friends on and they're like, oh, well, Zara perfumes don't last. Well, first of all, that sounds like a personal problem. Um, I personally think that they do last. Um, there are definitely things that you can do to make your fragrances last longer, but honestly, for this price, I don't care about to carry this and respray. It smells good and it's $25. I'm finna respray it, okay? So last or not, honey, $25? Are you mine? Oh, honey, I'm getting this. Absolutely, I'm getting this, all right? So next, I have the Victor and Rolf Spice Bomb Extreme. Now this technically is a cologne, all right? This is in the men's aisle, but he smells so freaking good. So I don't know about y'all, but this this reminds me of like when you go to like an Afrobeat spot and then you walk past this beautiful, handsome uh, Nigerian Yoruba man, and then you know at that moment that you're 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 open to him ruining your walls and your credit and your life and your relationship with your family and friends and your work uh your job because who needs a job when you have this beautiful man that smells so good and you want to have his babies and this is what he's wearing 
but then you know he's a yerba man so he he gonna do what he do and then he gonna sleep with your sister and so you gotta leave him but then you still miss him because you got god and somehow you put that juju on you so now here you are spraying your pillows and your clothes with his cologne so you can feel like he's still there but anyways <sighs> i'm not speaking from experience i'm not These are all just. Whoa! Oh! Somebody! Oh! He needs God. some milk! A 3.4 ounce of this cologne cost $120. And I believe I got this from Sephora. Um, it was labeled as warm and spicy. And let's see, the notes are grapefruit, cinnamon, and woody amber. Okay. Um, it also says it has caraway, black pepper layered on top of lavender, uh, and tobacco and vanilla. And so I feel like when I say that I love a spicy fragrance, but also gourmand, like vanilla and caramel, like I am obsessed like they literally have me in a chokehold and i feel like this fragrance is the perfect mix of it all and especially the extreme because i tried the regular one and i was like oh it's not giving honey but the extreme smells so freaking good now if you don't like sweet this one's not for you i'm gonna go ahead and spray so i can remember what oh, my boo smells like mm. Oh, it's crazy because even like when you spray the um the napkin <sighs> fragrances really do smell different on different people like it's crazy because on a napkin i'm really getting oh my god you know what this reminds me of it reminded me of the tom ford tobacco vanilla like that's the vibe it gets like it's like a deep woody ish but still sweet cologne but a lot more affordable because y'all know Tom Ford ain't cheap, darling. Tom Ford is not cheap, and you get uh 3.4 ounces for $120. But it has such a beautiful blend of all of those ingredients. But the cinnamon in it, because y'all know I like I like it a little a little spicy. The cinnamon and the pepper mesh well with the lavender and the vanilla. Like one doesn't overpower the other, and that's what I like. Because there's some spicy colognes, which most men's colognes are overly spicy for me, but that one is so beautiful on my skin like i oh that's actually the the fragrance i decided to go with that day when i went to the party um and i still had the burberry uh black on my on my uh elbow um but yeah that is a beautiful fragrance so if you're into like that woody deeper spicier fragrance um in my opinion i do find it to be similar to the tom ford uh tobacco vanilla i believe that's what it's called um but yeah, smells delicious. So next, I have the Montal Paris Amber Musk. Um, so this one is kind of interesting. It's just like you read, Amber Musk. Um, it has sweet amber, a powdery note, and white musk. Um, it said the base is composed of gray amber and cedar wood. So it has a little bit of that woodiness, that amber, and that musk but it's really just amber musk <laughs> um i got this because i wanted something fall-ish i could wear more so in the daytime um so i feel like a lot of these just really give me like hella sexy vibes which i wear mainly at night um but this is a little a little bit lighter it's not really a light perfume but it's not a deep one either it's like right in the middle um because it does have that musk in it now 3.4 ounces of this runs for 170. Oh, I lied. I said everything was under 150. Dang, I paid 170 for this. God, eh. oh, mm -hmm, okay. Well, mm, I did that. <laughs> um, but yeah, the thing is, this bottle, I'm not gonna lie, it feels kind of cheap. It's like a, a 10 situation, but I mean, I guess for 170, y'all could have done better. Um, I guess it has this cute little stopper situation like if you're traveling so it doesn't spray but this comes off really easily like too easily it's almost inefficient for 170 i feel like they could have they could have done a little bit more with the packaging i'm just nobody asked me i'm just putting it out there but yeah it's it's a, it's a fairly simple fragrance you're getting the amber and you're getting the musk okay no, not much more i can say on that it's, either you like that or you don't i mean so next we have uh, the Maison Marchilla 
um, replica in coffee break which I absolutely freaking love I am obsessed I actually started off with a one of those rollerball spray thingies which I usually like never purchase because once again when you the smaller you go with the sizes it's just the more money you're wasting if you get a bigger size it's more bang for your buck so I usually always get the biggest one but you know I'm, I'm working on being smart about my finances just because you save more if you buy more you're still spending more because you didn't need all of that do you know does that make sense anyways so i bought a big one of this though <laughs> i love coffee break though it smells so freaking good so this is a 3.4 ounce bottle and it runs for 135 um but you can get the smaller 0.34 ounce this is, i think it's a little a spray travel thingy and that was 30 dollars and this is a eau de toilette so this is not a perfume a parfum, parfum. okay um so according to the website this classifies under warm and sweet gourmand right up my alley okay that's what i love and it has coffee accord lavender milk mousse accord once i read it i said yes i knew it because something about this fragrance is just creamy now it doesn't smell like coffee to me but it just has a really warm and milky smell like i just oh 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 my it smells so good oh oh i love her Mm. so i would say that this is probably the the one i wear mostly during the day when i want a fall-esque vibe um but something it's just something about it like it's just it's not all the way creamy like it still has like a muskiness a little bit to it i don't even say musk it just adds something very much something in it that combines like the coffee accord and the the milk mousse but that milk mousse is in there y'all especially when it settles to the skin it's so creamy like when you think of like that sweet cream creamer italian sweet cream like that is what i oh my god this is a vibe y'all like i really love coffee break i'm really a fan um the fragrance description is creamy and cozy coffee so i don't know if you guys know this but the thought process behind the replica fragrances um is that they wanted to channel memories and put them into fragrances like so uh coffee break is supposed to remind you of like a i'm guessing like a coffee house yeah so it says reproduction of familiar scents and moments of varying locations and periods and i'm like y'all y'all did that <laughs> y'all did that okay y'all did something I'm, I'm really a fan of this one y'all and so i was like as a bonus i kind of had to include uh, the replica by the fireplace and the fragrance description of this one is burning wood and chestnut so this has clove oil chestnut accord uh and vanilla accord like chestnuts roasting on an open fire oh my god did they write this song about this or did it mean this because of the song so this is a little bit on the spicier side it has that clove oil in it but then it mixes once again with that gourmand the vanilla cord this classifies under warm and spicy so that's how i figured out like wow i'm really into warm and spicy fragrances like everything i'm looking at has spicy in it and i'm like i'm a little shocked because i usually feel like i hate spicy fragrances i just hate when it's too much spice when it's not balanced which some people love but for me personally i love the spice balance with vanilla or caramel or some other really nice warm gourmand note now that being said this is a one ounce and this runs for 72 dollars and i got the small one because i actually have the dossier version and that's actually how i fell in love with this fragrance because i bought this and i was like oh baby <laughs> oh baby so you don't have to splurge on this one dossier does have a really good one this video is not sponsored by them but i actually really am a fan of their fragrances and this is woody chestnut baby and it has the cloves and it has a chestnut and it has a vanilla oh my god let me read all the notes in here so a uh, dossier has like all the notes right here so it has pink pepper orange blossom cloves chestnut guake wood cade wood vanilla peru ba Peru, 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 Balsam, and Cedarwood. 
smells so freaking good um y'all know i don't i don't like to travel with my good stuff so i'll travel with like a cheaper cheaper version and leave my good stuff at home because if it falls and breaks i'm gonna die <laughs> i'm gonna die that's it um so yeah oh it smells so freaking good and look how cute the one ounce is though like look how cute this is stop playing the focus baby can you focus there we go there we go oh that's the shot that's the shot <laughs> okay um so that was that was a bonus i also have a second bonus um and my second bonus <laughs> My second bonus is the Vanilla Woods, The Seven Virtues. So like I said, fall very much gives me heavy gourmand vibes. So with all the fragrances that I mentioned before, you can add vanilla to sweeten it, make it a little bit more feminine and a little more sweet if you'd like. Um, I personally, I think I've added this to everything except maybe Coffee Break. Coffee Break doesn't need any help. Like Coffee Break is that girl. Um, but everything else, especially if I wanna like, appeal to a specific species of animal aka man. very ghetto um yeah i'll add a little extra vanilla because it usually captures the attention um and so that's like my special little bonus <laughs> fragrance just because i feel like you can't go wrong with vanilla like vanilla really just amplifies almost every fragrance you know and Target has a vanilla bourbon. Actually, let me go get it. Dang, I be cheating. That's like three bonus. God. Okay. <laughs> so I'm very big on mixing and layering, but you don't have to break the bank to do so, especially for vanilla fragrances. So like I said, Vanilla Woods by The Seven Virtues is definitely up there for me, but you don't have to buy this. My first vanilla fragrance that I purchased was from Amazon Vanilla Musk by Cody. Who? This this one's nice too. Stop playing a focus. <sighs> Y'all, this camera is so disrespectful to me. Y'all don't even understand, but I got this from Amazon. It was like, what, 30 bucks? I don't remember exactly. <laughs> I might be lying, but it wasn't super expensive. I know that. But Target also has this beautiful perfume, which I actually just picked up. Why, why did I pick it up? Did I need it? Absolutely not. Um, but it's vanilla bourbon. And I like this because it has a little depth to it. I don't like straight vanilla um, for the most part. I would say Vanilla Woods is probably the most vanilla perfume that I have. Um, <clears throat> I, I generally like my vanilla to have a little bit of depth to it, even if I am going to be mixing it. And this vanilla bourbon from Target, it was like $19 something cents. Um, Target actually has really nice fragrances. Who was the first one? I think Tasha. I don't know if you guys follow Tasha, but she was the one that first, hello. But she was the one that first mentioned like how good Target perfumes were. And all it takes is one person. Once one person puts a stamp on it, I don't think I try it. Um, Cause I always saw them, but I never trusted them. So I, I really could have been on game this whole time and I never tried them. But shout out to Tasha for mentioning that she enjoyed Target perfumes because this is not my third bottle. Um, I have two other fragrances that I'm really enjoying um, and now I added this up to the collection, but isn't this bottle cute too? It's simple, but it's super cute. Like the cap has this beautiful, beautiful, like light shade of gold. It's very faint and it has this beautiful, like caramel colored bottle. It's just beautiful overall. I'm really here for it and it smells good, but that bourbon adds depth to the vanilla and I love that. I love, love, love that. But that is it for today's video. I hope you guys found something that you uh, might potentially want to try. Uh, I tried to offer um, a decent range because I know people, not everybody's a, a perfume aficionado. Not everyone's obsessed. Not everyone wants to spend a whole bunch of money to smell good and you really don't. I'm tired of y'all bashing Bath and Body Works, okay? On, on, on Beyonce's internet because one thing about me I don't care how much it costs if it's smell good I'm, I'm finna buy it all right it could be a bond number nine it could be a rainbow dupe I'm finna buy both don't judge me judge your mom okay I, I didn't say that Jackie Anna did Jackie Anna said don't judge me judge your mom so if you got a problem you gotta take it up with her because I don't I'm just the messenger I'm just waiting for the boss
okay um so that is it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it i definitely enjoyed it um I love perfume so much. Oh my god. If you have any recommendations, please listen below. I know the girls are hot about Ebony Woods from Zara. I would definitely suggest that. I've smelled it. I got the little sample, not the sample, but the little brush on gel thingy from Zara. It smells amazing. There are a couple other fragrances that I want to try, but if you have any that you suggest, please put them in the description below. Once again, I like spicy, I like gourmand, I like vanilla caramel, I like clove patchouli, I like all of that, okay? I like everything. Uh, I like everything. All right, y'all, that's it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one, baby. Toodles. <laughs>